The bounding box also provides these events, uh, rotate, started, stopped, and scale, started, and stopped. So you can use these events to uh, generate the audio feedback. So I'm going to just drag and drop the text object itself, and I'm going to use this audio source dot uh, play one shot again, and because it was already assigned in previous example scene, the bounding box example scene, uh, it seems like it's automatically uh, assigning this MRTK audio clips, but uh, as you can see, you can use this uh, MRTK rotate start and stop and scale uh, start and stop. So if you hit play and when you grab the handle, as you can hear, there's a, a audio feedback for scale and of course for rotate to so now we have a all audio feedback for manipulation handler and the bounding box one thing I'm noticing here in the bounding box is that uh, if you look at this wire, uh, the wire is very thin, the border, um, and even on grab, you, I'm supposed to see the blue wires, uh, but it's uh, very thin and it's almost invisible. So um, this is because this bounding box has been flattened and the border uh, is considering the the depth uh, z depth so if you look at this bounding box material double click and if you scroll down uh, on this uh, mrtk shader it has this something called uh, ignore z scale so if you check this um, it will fix that issue i'm going to also update bounding box grabbed material for the blue wire too so I just checked it and let's run it and now as you can see the white border is displayed with clear uh, proper thickness and with the grabbing um, interaction you can see the border is now displayed correct uh, with the correct thickness And one additional tweak I want to do is that um, currently the bounding box is displayed uh, without any margin or padding. So I want to give a little bit of a space uh, between this type and the uh, surrounding border uh, so that it can uh, visually, it can be less cluttered. Um, so to do that in the bounding box, uh, there's also a nice option called um, box padding as you can see here so I'm gonna try with a 0 0.01 which would be one centimeter so let's see now so as you can see it has a little bit of, little bit of padding inside this bounding box um, so it's a more nicer uh, look so when I grab or display the bounding box handle um, it has a nice uh, space between the border and handle and the text itself